Hey guys, what's up? What's good? Hope you're having an incredible start to your week. Happy Wednesday, I think. By the time I put this video up, I'm doing like a little bit of pre-filming today. Um, I'm in an incredible mood because I'm super excited. We're doing a video today in my Boss Babe series. It's actually been a minute. So if you're just passing by my channel, first of all, I'm Jordan. I really do appreciate you being here. Um, any videos that fall underneath my Boss Babe series have to do with just being a young female entrepreneur and working on social media full time, how I saved up money, how I bettered my credit, how I pre-planned my weeks for success, like my morning and night routine, that kind of stuff. Um, my Boss Babe um, entire series has always got incredible feedback from you guys, so thank you so much for keeping requesting these videos because it helps me to realize what type of content that you guys want to see and anything whatsoever in the social media and like YouTube world that I've had any success on, I strongly, strongly feel that it's my duty to share all of that back with you guys and watch you guys also grow your own platform and be super successful yourself. Like sharing that with other young female entrepreneurs and also single moms is really a passion for me. So I love that I have this series where I'm able to just like share everything that I've learned with you guys and I just appreciate you being here. So for today, um, I've actually been uploading videos like within my Boss Babe series for like two years, but I've never done like a Boss Babe Q&A, if you will. So I went on Snapchat this morning and I asked you guys, what questions do you have about my job, about working for myself, maybe doing like taxes, being a full-time YouTuber, um, anything having to do with me bettering up my credit, saving money, just any, I kind of just wanted to like open the Q&A forum to know what you guys want to know. And I'm just, I have nothing pre-planned. I'm just going to open up all of your Snapchats and just like fire off the answers. Also, I'm super, super excited. Like I'm cheesing because I am working with Audible in this video. If you've never heard of Audible, you're missing out. They have the world's largest library of audiobooks. Um, you guys know my preference for books is kind of like self-help, motivation, inspiration, like young entrepreneur kind of titles. So currently I'm reading Crushing It by Gary Vaynerchuk, who you guys already know that I'm incredibly obsessed with. The overview of the book is how great entrepreneurs build their business and influence and how you can too. He is so incredible. I've read pretty much every other book that he has come out with. Um, I can actually leave a list in the description box of some other audiobooks for like personal development that I really like because I think that's going to be a question in the Boss Babe series anyways is what do I read for motivation, inspiration, like who do I look up to? Uh, but I find just when I'm like taking a bath or just I'm out on the go, listening to this on the audiobook has been incredible. So Audible is amazing. They're giving all of you guys a free audiobook and also a 30 day free trial. So you're just going to go to audible.com slash Jordan Cheyenne. I'll have it also listed in the description box. Let me know what you guys end up listening to. I'm always down for more audiobook recommendations. So make sure you guys go to audible.com slash Jordan Cheyenne to take advantage of that offer. Huge thank you to them for teaming up with me. I appreciate it so much. And I just genuinely like love the concept of Audible anyways. I would probably talk about them in multiple videos anyways with without even being sponsored, which I have in like other vlogs and stuff. I think I mentioned it last month that I was going to team up with them. And I've got a few messages from you guys actually within the past few weeks of like, where's our link girl? We ready. So there you go. It'll also be in the description box for you guys. So let me just pull up Snapchat here and I will pull up any and all boss babe like themed questions that you guys have. Let's just get into this. I got nothing pre-planned. I'm just going to like poof, fire these off on you. All right. Hey girl, how did you learn to edit videos? What are some good editing programs for people starting off? I typed this with one hand in a bathtub. Dedication level on 100. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. So currently I use Final Cut Pro to edit my videos. Um, I don't use any of like the super crazy effects or anything though. Final Cut can actually make videos that look like movies. Like I could have much more intense effects and transitions and stuff if I wanted to put even more time into learning how to make like cinematic stuff. Final Cut is really good for that. But I did use iMovie for the first two years, which actually comes with any Mac or MacBook purchase. And it's a free editing software that's built into the Macs. It's very user friendly. Um, I could even, I still know people who have like almost a million subscribers and they still use iMovie, it's totally fine. It's sufficient. Um, if you have a Dell, I believe Filmora and then also Windows Movie Maker would be good options. Um, I've never edited a video on a Dell myself, but I know I've heard from other people that those are also really user friendly. Um, another question was, what's the best way to pre-schedule filming, editing, and social media posts, a planner or your phone? Um, I talk about this a lot in my Instagram course as well. Also, yeah, if you guys are interested in growing up your audience on Instagram or YouTube, I did open up my enrollment for my Girl Boss Academy courses where I teach you like live on video much more in depth than just like a QA and a here of how to grow your platform. So that's always in the description box if you um, want to have a make a full-time living on social media. I'd love to, you know, also have you guys in there. 
Um, but what I do, so a lot of people ask me with Christian how I balance my time, how on earth, because I have him full time every single day and he goes to school very minimally, like how am I able to put out three videos a week, also do my meal prep, stay on my fitness journey, you guys know I work out every single day, um, and how, basically how do I plan my time. So I'm super lucky because Christian still naps, this is something I instilled in him very young and I was so consistent with that even to this day, he's over five now and he still naps every day from around like two to four. So what we'll do is we'll wake up in the morning, we'll go work out, I'll have lunch with him, we usually wake up like around 8, so by 1 or 2 p.m. he's already exhausted. We've already like gone to the gym or gone to the park and really worn him out. And then I know that whenever he naps in the afternoon, which is like right now, I think it's like 4.30 p.m. right now, I know that that's my filming time. So I have to just get like a little bit after we eat lunch, I'll start getting glam and getting ready because I have to fully maximize all the time that he's asleep. You guys know I try to not be on my phone or social media at all when he's awake. He has to come first before any job or just anything in general. So I try to do all my filming when he naps and then we'll play together once he's up from his nap and then when he goes down for bed um, at night is when I'll go back and I'll like edit the video that I filmed that day. So lucky for me, the time that he's in school, I'm able to go to Starbucks, work on my laptop, get like a lot of editing done, and then the actual filming I do when he's napping. Um, the only time I'm really like ever on my phone when he's like awake is if I'm actually filming like a vlog and he's in the vlog or he wants, a lot of times lately he wants to go on and like take over my Snapchat. And it's really cute, so I'll include him in like little things here and there. I just really want to prioritize my time to where I don't have to be working 100% of the time, you know, when he's awake and just making sure that being nothing ever comes above being a mom and I am giving him like full attention. Um, but I do use two separate planners, I know you asked about that. Um, there's some apps as well where you can pre-plan your posts, like for Instagram, I can leave the names of them in the description box. Um, I believe one of them is like five or six bucks a month, but you can actually upload your photos um, onto the app. You can like edit your photo, make like a draft of it, make sure it's set to go, and then you can upload your photos have it pre-planned to have your photos be uploaded for you throughout the week without you having to be on your phone or being like, oh, what time is it? I forgot to post. It actually posts for you. It actually posts your entire caption, your hashtag, everything like that. Um, and then to actually figure out like which videos I'm going to film every single week, I do use two separate planners. Um, one is from Erin Condren and one is from Target. So you don't have to have anything like super expensive. I don't do like bullet journaying or bullet planning, I think they call it. Um, someone who I follow, Ashley Swagner. Is that her name? Is that her real name? Ashley Swagner, Ashley Wagner, Swagner, where did I get Swagner? Um, on her Instagram the other day, she showed a little preview of her, she started doing bullet journaling and it looks incredible, oh my gosh, it's like so detailed, there's all these stickers, like, it's crazy. Being, just having Christian full time and everything else I'm doing with work right now, I don't feel like I have time to do that every week, but it looks amazing, like it's so pretty, I wish I could like, have a little bit more dedication on the planning side of things. But yeah, also now too, I do have an assistant finally. Um, I feel like I should have outsourced and got help in my business a lot sooner than I did. Um, that's another huge tip I have for you guys if you're a young entrepreneur or you own your own business and you're thinking about outsourcing or you're feeling so overwhelmed and you just need help in your business, one of my major tips for you is to outsource sooner than you think you're ready. And before you fully, if you don't know if you could barely afford it, just do it. Anything that doesn't feel in alignment with you, that you don't feel passionate about doing for your business, if you have the revenue to hire someone else to do that, you should. I finally got help with my Girl Boss Academy on the back end, like taking all the payments and dealing with all the customer service. I've hired someone to do that. I feel very blessed that I'm able to, you know, give someone that job. And it's also taken a lot of stress off on me because. I do so much, you guys. Like with work, it's insane. Like when you don't see me on social media, I'm still at home working, like behind the scenes, if you will, doing so much with launching both of my Girl Boss Academy courses, the Instagram and the YouTube Masterclass, getting three YouTube videos up a week. Like I said, having Christian full time. I have three ebooks which are for sale now. I wrote every word of them myself, like no co writer. Like I designed all the graphics. There is so much to do, like with YouTube and social media. That's why it still blows my mind sometimes when people are like, oh, get a real job. Social media is not a job. Let me tell you, I have worked harder these past four years on building my own personal brand than I ever worked for someone else. When I worked at Target and Radio Shack and Verizon, it, that didn't even compare. I thought those jobs were hard or it was like tough to learn the skills or to answer back to a manager. No, no, no. I have put a million times more effort into working for myself because I do what I love and I'm passionate about it and seeing other women grow up their platform and be successful and helping other single moms to grow their audience and promote their products. like. 
this is just what I love doing. So it's really cool because I do work so much, yet a lot of it feels like it feels good because I'm passionate about it. So it doesn't always feel like a job and all the things now having to do with like finances and taxes and creating graphics and like customer support, stuff that I'm not passionate about, but that still has to get done for my business. I'm so grateful now that I'm able to have help with that because before I was juggling like making the graphics for all the eBooks, taking all the payments, answering customer service emails, doing my newsletter, doing YouTube, like it's it's too much for one person and I'm someone who's very like particular as well I only I'd rather do something myself so that I get it done the right way so for me to actually ask for help and to delegate tasks out to other people was really hard for me um, but I realized that to be the best mom and to have the most like energy so I don't go crazy I was realizing I had way too much on my plate so now that I've kind of delegated some of that off I feel like I can breathe so that's just another really good like entrepreneur tip as well if you have your own business or you're promoting a product you're writing an ebook you're writing like a physical book get help like don't think you can do everything yourself I'm sure you can like I'm sure you're superwoman and you're incredible and you're so talented but it's best for you to have more mental clarity and to actually get that help when you need it. I know that was like an extremely long response, but I feel like you guys, like that will be really helpful for you guys. Okay, so I've seen this next question, like I've pulled it up like five times in my Snapchat so far. A lot of you wanna know how to do taxes when you're self-employed. So I actually made a video here on my channel. I'll link it for you down below. It's called how to make a full-time living on YouTube. If you wanna be a YouTuber or you're already a YouTuber but you wanna grow your audience so much bigger, please check that video. I was super transparent. I talked about um, how to do taxes as a YouTuber and also like every other way that I make money on YouTube. I was like really open and upfront with you guys. I got amazing feedback on that video. So I talk about taxes a lot. So reference that. Yeah, basically I do taxes like everyone else. I'm just self-employed. So it's called a schedule C. I do have a CPA who I work with. You have to add up for, throughout the entire year, all the mileage that you've driven for your business. Like anytime I've gone to LA or I've driven to do like a collab, that all counts for work. Anything whatsoever that you've purchased that goes towards your job. So towards your channel, my camera, my tripod, my ring lights, all the clothing that I buy and I show on my channel in like haul videos, anything whatsoever that you've purchased that that you can prove that you show and that you use in your business is able to be a write-off. Um, you also have to show the CPA every single tax form that you get in the mail. So I'm with Studio 71 currently, so they'll send me a tax form at the end of the year with how much income I made for the entire year. So I have to put that into my taxes. That's like my main income, if you will, from like video views. That's like the uh, Google AdSense revenue. And then any companies that I worked with and we did a sponsorship, if they paid me like per click on something or per the amount of sales I was able to drive through my audience, or some companies will just pay like a flat fee for a sponsorship, they'll also send me tax forms, which are 1099s at the end of the year. So just like any normal person who has a normal, you know, like retail or sales job, I have to take all my tax information and add up all those numbers, give that to my CPA, and then write off anything that I can so that the difference at the end is as minimal as possible. Hopefully you don't owe too much back. It really just depends. I'm lucky because right now I'm actually in my condo, as you guys know, and I finally have a third bedroom. So this is my office. This is 100% my space for work. So I'm actually able to write off a portion of my rent because this entire room is for work. So yeah, if you have a dedicated like office space at home, you're 100% able to legally write off a portion of your rent. They'll basically like measure the room and you basically write off like a square footage amount uh, because yeah, that's your business space where you do all of your work and that really helps with your write-offs as well. Going along with the taxes question, someone's asking, do you have to save all the receipts for everything that you buy? I mean, you should, yes, uh, but technically you can get audited for up to seven years afterwards and I was actually asking my CPA last year because I was like, what if I bought something six years ago and I kept the receipt, but then I was looking at a bunch of the receipts I had from a few years ago and all the writing was like smudged off of them because they're so old you know you, the writing doesn't necessarily stay like super black or super legible so it's like how can they really even like tell um, and she was telling me a way that they actually do it now is they just pull up your bank statements so if you purchase a really expensive item totally try to save the receipt or make sure you're able to pull that up on like your credit card statement if you got audited but she actually said that if god forbid if you do get audited um, the IRS will actually be able to sift through your bank statements as well so as long as you can prove in there that what you wrote off was at the correct amount and you actually did purchase that item, you should be fine. All right, so not like a business question at all, but I'm getting a bunch of snaps about my lashes. These are actually the Lily Lashes in Vegas. And I get questions on them all the time because I actually, I'm such a creature of habit with makeup and with lashes, I use the same stuff over and over. So if you ever see me wearing lashes, it's gonna be the Ardell 747 or it's gonna be Lily Vegas. These are actually like my all time favorite. I know they're really dramatic for some people, but I like that look. Um, but I just, my bank hates repurchasing them because I think they're like 33 bucks or something insane, but you can rewear them like 30-ish times because they're mink lashes. I know that has nothing to do with this Q&A, but 
I just pulled up that question. Hey, 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 hey. Hey girl, I've been watching your videos and I get inspired by your drive to do everything. I'm currently unemployed because my job was such a bad environment and they were trying to change my persona so I had to let it go. Good for you. I've been wanting to purchase your ebook because I know it covers a lot of success and how you've achieved it. I hope to one day be just as inspiring as you are. I'm so happy to have met you at the LA meet and greet. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Sally. That is, that just made my day. There was really no question in there, but I'm just trying to like open up all these and read them. Thank you so much. Yeah, I actually met a lot of people. Um, what was it like? I'm totally getting off topic here on everything. Hope y'all don't mind. Um, in January at the LA Fit Expo, I met a bunch of you and that really was an, such an incredible weekend for me to just hug you guys and thank you. Cause I haven't done a meetup in like ever or like forever. Um, and it, it's just really, really always nice. You guys say it makes your day when you meet me in person, but it makes mine. Like, it makes my job worth it, and that was awesome. So I'm glad that I just opened up that little message. Hey, girl, thinking about starting a YouTube channel for loving yourself, like motivational and encouraging channel, and also want to include weight loss. Um, I love yourself as well and have a positive mindset. I'm just wondering, what are your top three pointers on beginning a channel like this? Girl, you're so amazing. Keep doing what you're doing. Love ya. Love you too, Miranda Marie. Thank you. Amazing question. So I talk all about this in my YouTube course as well. If you want to be serious about making YouTube a full-time job and just fully immersing yourself in it. But at the beginning, a lot of people have asked me, you know, how do you grow up a successful channel? Number one, consistency. Number two, passion. Are you genuinely making videos about something that you are so passionate about? about that you love doing that if you never people are always asking me how do you find your passion well let me ask you this if you w were to wake up every single day and go to a job or go do something but it never paid you a penny what is what would it be that you would do like what is something that you love so much that you would do for free that's what I always ask people like say money was no obstacle say you were a millionaire but you still wanted to wake up and spend your time doing something like what would you do and most people end up telling me like singing photography like whatever their heart's passion is if money wasn't involved I think that's a really awesome question to ask yourself to find out what you're passionate about and then with growing on YouTube you have to find out how can you serve your audience because your YouTube channel is not even about you and that's a really hard one for people to grasp same with Instagram your social media is not about you. You may be the person who's posting content on there, but your social media platforms are there in order for you to serve your audience, for you to give them something. Is your YouTube channel gonna be educating people on a product? Are you gonna be making people laugh? Are you gonna be inspiring people? What information can you give back to your audience to improve their life? There's a quote that says, if you help other people get what they want, you can have everything that you want. And I truly, truly believe that if you want a higher income, you need to make a higher impact. How can you change other people's lives? So find something that you're really passionate about that you want to share through your YouTube channel and how you can improve other people's lives and give this information back to them to change their reality. So that way they're going to keep running back to your channel. They're going to be so excited for all the content that you put out and how seeing how passionate you are to share that with them. So I think really finding a balance between something you love talking about and love making videos on and then slowly learning how to make that a job and actually make you real revenue has been what I've done for the past four years. You know, I started my channel just sharing my weight loss journey because I was really passionate about getting healthier and then I started doing daily vlogs when Christian got a little bit bigger because there's nothing more important or that I love more in my life than Christian so being on camera with him was very genuine and like I think a lot of people just got attached to following our life which is so amazing and I feel so so blessed but I've also been really consistent at the beginning I was uploading three to four videos a week and now I'm on year number four so it's definitely taken you know a lot of consistency so finding that passion and then just not quitting and hustling and grinding I would say is that's gonna be your best bet um, I think those were all like the main questions I opened up a few more actually but they're all like super repetitive and I think I've been recording for like 30 minutes if you were new to the channel that's nothing new you know I stay home all day by myself so when I turn on the camera it's just like my chit chat catch up time with you guys and I tend to just like go on forever so I hope you enjoyed I hope that was really beneficial for you guys you got some educational info out of it thank you so much for being here there's I always say this but there's so many people now doing YouTube and so much content that you could watch so just to have you come back to my channel and be interested truly means a lot to me I always want to make sure you guys know that I'd really appreciate if you could give this video a thumbs up I know we're all busy if you don't got time to comment it's fine just giving me a like just helps YouTube to help push the video out to other people I definitely want to keep expanding and growing our community here um, also my social media accounts Instagram and Twitter are public I would love to have you over there I do little polls about like what videos you guys want to see next and I post on there every single day so I usually post on YouTube like three times a week but I'm on social media every day so you know if you want a little bit more of my face <laughs> every day <laughs> come on my social media what time is it 4 52 
I need to end this video. Anywho, I always feel like I have something to tell you at the end of my videos, but I can't remember what else. Oh my gosh, who has seen The Greatest Showman? I saw it twice, cried my eyes out, amazing. It just reminded me because one of my alarms just came up and my alarm song is This Is Me. That song always makes me cry, oh my gosh. Best movie ever. Again, nothing to do with this video, but let me know if you guys have seen it. So I appreciate you. I love you. Please, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.